你要见还是我？你要见还是我 ？It's Razor Bob 啦。How's it going, guys? Brian Silver, Razzy TV, and I have a special guest with me today. His name is Jack Magic. Nice to meet you, Jack. Yo. Would it be cool for you to do like a trick for me, and then after that we will go and do tricks for for the public and surprise them? As in right now, right now. As in right now. Cool. That's tough. I don't really have anything with me. Do you do you happen to have a a a what? I don't know. Do you, do you have a, um? Oh no, I. There it is. I'm sorry. Wait, wait. Ah. I knew I left that somewhere. Here. <coughs> ah, oh, I see. So uh, that was right here. Yes, thanks for okay. giving that back. Poor man. Yeah. <laughs> um, but can I borrow that for a minute? Look, well, it's right over here. Check it out. <coughs> ah, <laughs> that is completely disgusting. So, uh, when do you start performing magic? The origins. Well, I started out. Practicing magic. I first started. It was about 1997. I was in school. I was in Tsamasi JC at that time, and there was this guy who was my senior, and he was just performing stuff in the canteen with cards and coins and stuff like that. And for the first time in my life, I saw magic up close like that. You know, not that there wasn't internet, but you know, there weren't many magic shops up and running at that time. No and, you YouTube know, at the time. At least, exactly. Yeah. So everything I had to learn either through mail order. I got books and videos from the states. Or through this guy who I, whom I met in school. After a while, it started becoming deciding that hey, I should do something with my life, uh, and I thought, why not go professional? Okay. And that was about 2003. Like Jack Magic. I mean, it's obviously it's a pretty, pretty obvious name, right? Jack Magic. But why Jack Magic? <laughs> okay, it started out with me being um, uh, an amateur performer, basically performing for friends. Um, Acquaintances, you know, and then they'll be like, "Hey, that's Magic Jack. That's Magic Jack." And then okay. after a while, people are like, "No, no, no, Jack Magic sounds cooler." Ah, okay. uh, and then the name kind of stuck. Now you've seen Magic before, right? Okay, so I'm gonna try this with you. That's one. That's two, and that's three coins. Now, can I borrow your hand for a minute? Now I'm gonna try to steal the coins from you in a minute. All right. So I want you to squeeze them as tight as you can. All right. You ready? These three coins. Okay. Now squeeze them real tight and turn your fist over. Now watch this. I haven't stolen any coins yet. But this, when I was quitting smoking, this was my last shred of dignity. Okay, now check it out. If you take it and squeeze it like this, watch what happens as you rub it. <laughs> check it out. Oh my god! What the hell? But you know, every time I do something like this, people tell me, "Hey, hey how do you do that?" Now, are you guys curious to know? Are you guys curious? Yeah. Well, you know, every time um, the thing is, most people tell me, "Hey, you're good, you're good, you're good." Actually, it's not that I'm good. You know, I use very good props. Now, these look like normal coins, right? Well, actually, these are special coins. Now, check it out. Can you see what's so special about it? Hey, come closer. <laughs> it's called sharing. <laughs> it looks normal to you, right? Now, you see, the secret actually lies over here on the face of the coin. Can you see the face over here? Right? That's John F. Kennedy. Now, you see, the thing is, if you take the coin, and what happens is, if you rub the face very hard. It actually gets slightly bigger, just like that. <laughs> so cameras up close on your hands don't bother you? Uh, not really, because whatever I do, if you can't see it, yeah. the camera can't catch it. It's not about how fast my hands are. It's ultimately how smooth I move. Okay, well, um, any of you smoke, by the way? Yeah. Okay. okay. Have you tried quitting smoking before? Go all right. Uh, many times? One time? One time. One time. Okay, well, I was smoking for about ten plus years, lah. I it took me about five years before I actually managed to quit. I was trying for very, 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 very long, lah. But it actually inspired me to come up with a little card trick. Now, before I continue, can you just check these cards for me? They look like normal cards to you. Okay, now what's going to happen is this. Now, like any card trick, what's going to happen is this. You have to reach in there and pick a card for me. One, but don't let me influence your choice in any way. So can I choose one? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> why, why? I don't want this card. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hold on, hold on, go on, go on. Hold on. Oh, you're seriously going to choose one like this? Yeah. That's a first. Okay, now, 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 since you're talking about smoking here, can you just take this marker? I want you to write a brand of cigarettes right across the face of the card. Yeah, yeah. Any brand. This is your brand. Australian. 
Let's say stop anywhere. Uh, here. Here? Okay, here. Okay, I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. Just take, just take your card. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Ken? Okay, now. Now watch this. You saw how far I was down, right? But if I tell you that with just a shake, your card jumps up to the top. You probably wouldn't believe me, right? No, yeah, la, I, mean, I know. It's not, it's not. Yeah, I know. I'm not that good, la, But I forgot to tell you. You have to actually have to get a sh snap like this and actually pull your card right back up to the. What is that? <laughs> oh, my name, my name. Your name. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Wait, let's try that again. Very, very slowly. Watch. If you take the king of diamonds now, very slowly, push it in. But wait, before I push it all the way, I'm going to show you what the next top card is. In this case, the queen of clubs. Now, watch this. You take the queen, very, very slowly. It goes one, two. What other hobbies do you have? Oh. Like, uh, Gaming. Yeah. I just played Left 4 Dead yesterday. Oh, nice, no, Left 4 Dead rules. <laughs> rules. Okay. Does keeping fit... We will go on to keeping healthy, right? But mm. first now, keeping fit. Does keeping fit help help you become a better magician? Okay, I, I go to the gym three times a week. Well, I, I do that simply because um, it helps me focus. It helps me get rid of stress, which I would suppose does help the magic in a way because when I enter my magic, as a performer, I'm in a different state of mind. So, I don't have to worry about stressing my body out because it does get quite demanding, especially for longer gigs. You're standing for two, three hours on end. You're walking up to people. You have to maintain a very high level of energy and alertness. And that takes a toll, not just mentally, but physically as well. So, by keeping fit in that sense, you know, I guess I am able to keep that physical aspect, that physical fatigue away. Lah. One, two, three, four. Now, can I borrow a hand for a minute? And your hand. Now, these coins are going to tell a little story, okay? Your hand will represent my bank account, while yours, the mama shop under my block. You want more atas on Okay, 7-Eleven. Okay, okay, now check it out. Four coins. Now, when I first started smoking, almost immediately, it just went, boom. Did you see that? No. Okay, okay, if you missed it, if I missed how the first coin actually jumped right across over there. Okay, okay, maybe that was a bit too fast. Okay, I'll slow it down. In fact, some people say, hey, one cigarette is not enough, right? Same thing. After a while, the coin ran out. So watch this. If you take it and squeeze it like this, and if one, two, three. Now, if you listen carefully, you might actually hear the second coin as it jumps from here right across to... <gasps> How would you go about like approaching a group of people? Like, you know, sometimes people are, are scared. Singaporeans are very uh, uh, inhibited. Yes. So how do you break the barrier and just approach someone? If you approach someone looking for help, generally you're less likely to get turned away. So I generally do the, hey, sorry, I think I dropped something somewhere around here, you know. And then they're like, oh, where? And then, you know, there's this helpful mode thing. And then suddenly I shock them with something very visual. And they're like, whoa, what was that? And then they start laughing and like, oh, you're a magician. And I start introducing myself and what I do. Yo, sorry, eh, I dropped something around here just now. Did you guys see anything? No. What's the thing? It's, it's a small... Oh, dude, it's stuck on your jeans, huh? Wait, that, that, that it's... Ah, it's, sorry, it's... Ah! Oh! That was them good. Mm. <laughs> okay, Jack, so you're working with the Help Emotion Board. Mm, uh, how do you guys right. get together? Well, they were basically looking for new and novel ways to spread the anti-smoking message. And they decided that magic would be an interesting approach. Yep. You know, so they started looking for magicians and I was recommended to them. I came from there. You know, I was smoking for more than 10 years and it was a very, very difficult experience breaking the habit. I find that, you know, there are better things to do with your money, with your time and with your health. When did you start smoking, actually? Um, when I was about 16. 16? Yeah. Oh, underage smoker? Uh, um, what? <laughs> what? Sorry? <laughs> so you picked up smoking just a year before you found magic? Correct. Yeah? Uh, they are not, they are not correlated in any way. Yeah, no, 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 not at all. Huh? I used to hang out in my neighbourhood. So, you know, downstairs there'd be all the younger ones and the older ones. The older ones were smoking. Yep. So, us who were caught in the middle at about 15, 16, yeah. we were like, hey, like, the older ones smoking get cooler. You know, it's time for us to grow up, you know. At that time, when I started out, you know, it was the small pack, you know, it was $2 plus for like 10 sticks, you know. Then they yeah. phased that out. I used to smoke oh, 10 like... 10 cents, 1 stick. Was it 10 cents, 1 yeah, stick? Yeah, 10 cents, 1 stick. I don't know like oh. these things, but... Uh, uh, yeah, right. Yeah. Some, <laughs> 10 cents, 1 stick. Yeah, for, like, some, some yeah. little bird told you. La. Yeah, some yeah. little bird told me. <laughs> so, we were smoking small packs. Eventually, we got went to bigger and bigger packs. And then when they phased out, actually, to be honest, when they phased out the small packs, 
we actually started smoking more. Yeah. Simply because now we have bigger packs, we had no choice. So, you know, we want to finish them, so we started smoking more. So, I don't know whether that was a good move or not. Lah. 